Hi, it's Joel. This is Story Pipe. I'm on Offend Everybody Rampage today. Actually, I'm not going to offend everybody, but I'm going to offend a whole lot of the people with the, this one. Uh, from Yahoo News, Tom Hennigan, religion editor. The spiritual leader of the world's 77 million Anglican church has said conservative Christians who cite the Bible to condemn homosexuality are misreading a key passage written by St. Paul almost 2,000 years ago. And we are all the better now that he's going to clear this up for us. Many current ways of reading miss the actual direction of the passage, William said. Paul is making a primary point not about homosexuality, but about the delusions of the supposedly law-abiding. In the passage of Romans that Williams referred to in Monday's speech, Paul said people who forgot God's words fell into sin. Quote, men committed indecent acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their perversion, Paul wrote. Williams said these lines were there, uh, and Williams said these lines were, for the majority of modern readers, the most important single text in scripture on the subject of homosexuality. But right after that passage, Paul warns readers not to condemn those who ignore God's word. At whatever point you judge the other, you are condemning yourself, wrote Paul. It would not help pro-gay liberals, says Williams, because Paul and his readers clearly agreed that homosexuality was as obviously immoral as idol worship or disobedience to parents. But he said a strictly theological reading of scripture would not allow a Christian to denounce others and not ask whether he or she were also somehow at fault. The communion has to face the fact that there is a division in our church and it's getting deeper and more bitter. If the Anglican church divides, everyone will lose. <sighs> this is basically around the, the Episcopal church that, uh, that ordained a gay bishop, right? And now the church may split because of this. Um, I don't get the point that he's making here. Actually, let me turn. Okay. I do not get the point that he's making here, right? Because, so you're saying... Okay, the Bible says homosexuality is a sin, but don't condemn the sinner, okay? You don't condemn them, because they're going to get their comeuppance at, the, at due time from God himself. Now, I do not want to debate religion here, okay? But let's follow that logic, because if that logic were true, then if you say your pastor were to, mm, I don't know, molest children, then you go, okay, he'll get his comeuppance in due time. And in this particular case, he got his comeuppance early but okay that's offensive um <laughs> i made that one up i'm improvising i really did make that one up but or if you're or if someone commits murder don't judge them the, basically you're saying toss out the whole criminal legal system on biblical precepts that's bizarre to me can we get over this um all the gay people out there let's let's just admit something uh, the Bible says homosexuality is wrong. That's just what it says. Okay, let's stop the debate because this is what people do. They like to read the Bible the way they want to read. This man's like, well, you're misreading it. And then, but you're not misreading it. It says you're wrong for doing it. Um, get over it. Okay, uh, let's get over the fact that probably the Bible's wrong about a bunch of things and they're wrong about gay people too. Uh, but what happens is people, they, I think religion is ultimately a selfish act because people go and they find the religion that suits them, right? They go, I, I didn't really like that church. I didn't like the message he was preaching. I didn't feel comfortable there. So then they go and find the one that is and they go, this is the word right here. This is the way to heaven. It's like, well, the, apparently you evaluate everything through the thoughts that you have inside your own head. Okay? So... Forget anyone interpreting the Bible about homosexuality. It's wrong. It says, it's pretty clear. It just says it. Now, drop the religion and go find the one that fits what you want. Bye.